everyone, today we're at Fine Arts and Ceramics Museum, Jakarta, Museum Seni Rupa dan Keramik, Jakarta. It's located at Kota Tua, and you can see me here. This is the entrance, and they will tell you where to go. There's a lot of things you can see here, like things you can use to make the ceramics and also fine arts. They will also show you a lot of products. There's also stairs to go upstairs. However, we're not going upstairs right now because we are going here with one sole aim, which is to make pottery ourselves. That's why we're still looking for the pottery part because yeah, there's a lot of many other things that we can see. However, we still don't know where the pottery is and we're, I mean, it's not like we're too lazy to ask but there's not much staff in here so it's not like I can ask anyone else than other customers however we can enjoy the process of searching while going through this museum with full of paintings even the paintings are amazing you know they're really cool and it's like a maze somehow there are so many doors, so many open gaps, but only in a specific place. Also, this place is really hot. I'm telling you now, in case you're going here, there's no air conditioner. Uh, therefore, you might need to tie your hair up like I did. Or at least you need to bring some kind of hat for the outer part of this museum. Or... I really do think Under the paintings the here are amazing. Some of them are like 3D that makes you want to touch it. However, of course, they put a sign telling you that it is forbidden for you to touch any of the paintings or ceramics here. And I hope that if you go here, you can also follow the rules. Because, you know, even though there's not much CCTV and stuff. I believe that it will do a damage to the art itself. I'm really telling you from my experience, there was really this one time where I was really mesmerized by the painting. And I almost reached out my hand and my fingers nearly touched the painting. Fortunately, my friend here helped me, reminded me. Of not to touch the art. Thank God, I almost read something. At the very least, touching won't bring you any good, and it won't bring the painting to any good either. So, why bother? It's been like nearly 15-20 minutes when I filmed this. And I still don't know where the pottery is. Like, we want to make the pottery ourselves. Uh, not just watching other people making it. Not just doing anything. But we want to make it ourselves. I know that you need to pay more for this. If you want to, I'll tell you the price. It's 50,000 rupiah per person. Because each person will get a package full of the pottery you know sand it's not sand it's like wet soil how do i say this i don't know it's a clay i think like natural clay mine got an insect inside like alive <laughs> i was so surprised however that's what you get you'll get that also you will get a box to keep your pottery thing if it's done when it's done 
So I think that's the end of the Museum of Painting. We're now walking through this garden. Hopefully we can find more ceramics because it was mostly painting all over there. It's very green, very hot, but also very entertaining. We finally found the pottery! Hooray! People are making here. The stuff here will help you as I have seen it from Instagram. They have Instagram if you want to. You can go here by yourself or with your friend or with your partner like that. Usually, they will always be there to guide you. You can call them if you need any help. Now, I have worn the apron and I'm making this. This is what I made. I didn't really film the process because my hands were full of clay. Like how? So now, he's I mean the staff is going to help me with moving this to the box that we have gotten from Hayley <laughs> The box and this clay thing is going to move it, so let's go. Uh, my intention was to make a pot actually. A pot where we can put flower maybe or any other plant however my pot actually cracked at the bottom and we waited for like an hour or so during the they'll put it aside and this is my friends is trying to make a face just making textures but in the end it's all done because yeah. it's not made oh, it's yeah, uh, completed it okay. at the end we have leftover over space you can see there's a part of the table and I'm making decorations for my plate or I'm thinking that I could you know use it separately so it's like a extra product for me this is the result very cute however it's not perfect I know this is our first try anyway so We've never done this before and I don't think we'll do this again. <laughs> so next, while waiting for it to dry at least from the wind, natural wind and natural sunlight, we're looking at the ceramics part of the museum because just now it was all just painting. We're planning to go upstairs too since we didn't before because you need to queue. If you want to do the pottery, you need to queue. They, ha they have like vouchers, you can say, tickets that shows the number and you will be called according to your number. So if the person before you, for example, I was number 9. If number 8 hasn't finished, then it is highly unlikely for you to go and be able to make the pottery. Because, you know, there's a lot of people. We. Oui. <laughs> yeah. Ini keren. Wow. Pas bunga ya airnya airnya ya berkeluar dong. Ini apa? Gak ada introduction. But but of course. It depends. Sometimes people are finished together, like there are two of them. There are only like four spots times two people. That means only eight people can do it together. However, if you're alone, I don't think you can sit with other people side by side because it's very awkward. <laughs> and I don't think they condone that as well. So it is very suggested that you bring a friend here like I did. 
or you might want to bring your partner or you want to bring your sister brother whoever that is just because you need to sit together with someone else all these paintings have the same pattern same tone of color i don't know what it is and i'm too lazy to read but it's quite good as well those volcanoes as well looks like copy pasted but it's not by the way if you want to go upstairs there's a limit on the people that can go upstairs there's barely any stuff but sometimes there is one stuff waiting under the stairs because you can't just go up there when there's so many people because it might just break <laughs> i'm telling you the truth from my journey there are only two stairs which you can go upstairs which is used one for the ceramics and one for the paintings and if i'm not mistaken the limit is 35 people so if you go upstairs and see that there are already so many people it's better if you go down you don't want to die together <laughs> i'm not saying that you'll die but i'm just saying it in a harsh way so you understand and this is my trip to this museum there's nothing else to see because i went through all the rooms see you next time bye bye